my name uh, is Thomas Karagadzai. Uh, I'm going to take you through the literature review session. We want the, to thank the faculty for organizing the research and innovation skills uh, course or module where we are going to explore and examine how research and innovation can be done. So on today's session, our learning outcomes are as follows. You should be able to identify a problem in your local communities and articulate it academically. The other issue is at the end of this session, you should be able to indicate how existing research in this area falls short of what you intend to do. That is, you should be able to identify gaps which need to be filled. So we'll start by explaining what is literature review. So in essence, literature review is a comprehensive overview of previous research regarding a specific topic. So the overview both shows the reader what is known about a topic and what is not yet known. So when you are dealing or you are working on literature review, the main key issue there is to identify your topic. And at the same time, you have to review documents, publications on what has been done which is related to your uh, particular topic or the topic which you have chosen. And also not what is not yet known concerning that particular issue. So by doing this, you'll be setting up the rest now or the need for a new investigation. So if you cannot find the gap of what you've been researched from the previous researches, there is a likelihood that uh, there is no need for a new investigation. You cannot research on what has been done unless you find key gaps from those uh, particular researches. And this will also help you in shaping what you actually want to study or what your um, a topic or suggested topic want to fulfill. We also have um, different authors, different uh, writers who also talk uh, about literature review. So for instance, Creso noted that uh, the literature in a research study shares with the reader the result of other studies that are closely related to the study being reported. So basically what he's saying is, when you he, when he are doing a literature review, it is also key to take note of uh, some of the results which have emerged from the previous studies, which is related to your uh, proposed topic or the uh, area you want to study. It is key to see or to note the trend in these results, the approaches which have been used by the previous researchers, and how you plan or how you intend to fuse the gap which you might have identified. So when you, you're doing literature review, it is key for your study to relate to the larger or ongoing dialogue in about that particular topic. What are the ongoing discussions? What are the ongoing debates? And how are you going to fit in? So you have um, to fill in gaps and also extend what has been done by the previous researchers. So the wall or the sole purpose of literature review now is to provide you with a framework for establishing the importance of the study which you intend to do. 
So the other issue is when you are doing literature review, you have to identify also some theories in previous research which have influenced your choice of your research topic. You also need to take cognizance of the methodology which have been used by the previous researches. And if you see it fit for you to adopt it to your study, then you can adopt. But you can as well look at other relatable theories and methodologies which you might use in your research, which will lead to creation of or a generation of new knowledge. However, as you are doing your literature review, they are common and most appropriate sources which must be done. You know, when you are doing your literature review, you can't do your literature review on social media or WhatsApp using opinions on WhatsApp platforms from unaccredited or unauthentic sources. Everyone is bound to his opinion, but there are certain uh, sources which you cannot refer or reference when you are doing, uh, when you are writing academically. So when you, when you are dealing or when you are working on your literature review, the most appropriate sources to use are articles which are found in academic journals and books, are also scholarly empirical articles, dissertation and books, there are also scholarly non-empirical articles and essays. You can as well use government publications uh, to just mention a few. So it is key to take note that when you are doing literature review, you, you must not use Wikipedia, you must use uh, Google Scholar, um, accredited journals, and luckily our university have got uh, a lot of online resources which you can refer to which uh, where you can search and find content for your uh, topic so one might wonder why is it important for us to do literature review there are key issues when you're doing literature review firstly literature review are important for a number of reasons one Literature review, it forces the writer to educate him or herself on as much information as pos possible pertaining to the topic which one is chosen. So basically, you are not doing this literature review for the examiner for, for the lecture, but you are doing it for yourself so that throughout the process, it, it will educate you. You are going to be educated and you will gain more information on the particular topic which you intend to study. So this will actually assist you in the learning process. And it will also help make the writing as strong as possible. So by knowing what has been or has not been uh, studied and established, this will help you to identify the gap which will help you to come up or to generate new knowledge in relation to that particular concept or that particular thematic area. The second importance of literature review is to demonstrate to the reader that the author or the student or the researcher is a firm understanding of the topic. You need to do a comprehensive overview of literature review so that you understand firmly about the topic which you intend to study. This will provide credibility to the researcher and integrate to the work's overall argument. And by reviewing and reporting on all previous literature, you are also going to identify weaknesses and shortcomings, shortcomings which were experienced in the previous researches or with the previous researches. So this will make sure that when you are saying this is the gap I have been identified, you have a strong position and you have also identified the weaknesses which were encountered, uh, encountered previously. 
to avoid you repeating the same mistake. This will not also again only assist in you in finding or arguing for the need for a particular research question to explore, but through literature review, it will help better form. It will help you in better forming the argument for why further research is needed. So, the other issue is what does a literature review include? I think it's key for you to understand or to be equipped with information on what to be to include when you're doing your literature review, how to do it, and the general outline of doing literature review. So when you are doing literature review, basically the general outline is to look at that um, particular topic under study at a global scale. What do you mean when we are saying at a global scale? You need to look at the experiences, trends, um, challenges, recommendations, uh, from a global perspective to say, for instance, when you are looking at um, COVID-19, we have to look at the trends, experiences, challenges, and recommendations at a global scale, for instance, in European countries, how were they doing it? What were their experiences? What were the policies? What were the gaps? What were the mechanisms which they used? Then from there, you have to look at the regional context. What has been the issue you are pro pro proposing to study being handled regionally? So when we are saying regional, maybe we might be looking in Latin America, what has been done, experience and trends in Africa, what has been uh, done, what are the trends, what are the challenges? In Asia, what has been done, what are the trends, what are the experience and what are the challenges? So those are the specific uh, issues which you need to look at so that you identify gaps at a global, regional, and national level. So here with me here, I've got an example of how you can make sure that uh, your topic is broader. So for instance, if there was a study on whether alcohol abuse leads to the tendency to, to commit violent crimes, then it would need to have an overview of substance abuse issues, not just alcohol, and how such may influence all types of crime. So for instance, you are focusing on alcohol abuse, but before you focus on alcohol abuse, you also need to look at how substance abuse in general, in its trends, experiences, and how is it influenced uh, a, a commitment of violent crimes within society. Then, after that, you should discuss different types of substance abuse and how it is substance abuse influence uh, the general types of uh, crime. Then, after doing that, you now need to zone in or you need to focus on the primary subtopics of uh, alcohol abuse and its direct influence on committing violent crimes. So in essence, the literature review goes from a broader view to a specific focus. And you'll be using subtopics of the general research question to guide the focus to a specific research question that the author wants to address. So this is key, and you should take note that uh, you must apply that broader perspective, broader overview, and funnel it towards a specific focus of your research. So given this discussion, I have prepared a task which you need to work on in groups. I 